Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY Sailor Scout wall decor. I used to wake up super early to watch the 90s show and I still love Sailor Moon today. I made a Sailor Jupiter piece because I had the materials for it, but you can make any Sailor Scout as long as you get the right colors for whichever scout you choose. But for a mini moon or sailor moon, you'll probably need to have some polymer clay skills. But yeah, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is paint our accent gem with our nail polish. I wanted the gem to sparkle a bit, so I put my glitter nail polish on first. I only used one coat of this. Once that dries, I'm going to put on green nail polish or whatever color you need for your scalp. Since this one dries matte, I only use three coats. Once you've used enough nail polish to cover the back completely, use only one coat of your top coat to seal the polish. You can definitely substitute nail polish for acrylic paint as long as you still use a top coat or Mod Podge to seal it. Take your piece of cardboard and wrap your tool around it. You don't want the tool around the cardboard so tight that you can't pull it off later, nor do you want it too loose that it falls off before you're done wrapping it. I ended up doing this 8 times. Take another stripper tool and fold it so it will be easier to deal with later. I'm cutting off 5 pieces of arm's length tool and then stacking them on top of each other so I can cut off excess from longer pieces. I set them aside so I can use them for my bow's tail in a bit. Slowly pull your tool off the cardboard and form a bow. Grab the single piece of tool you cut earlier and wrap it around the bow once. Take your five pieces of arm's length tool and pull it through the bottom of your bow. The five pieces don't have to be the exact same length on both sides at this point because you can fix it later. Double knot the tool around the middle of your bow. Once everything is secure, you can use the extra tool from the double knot to make the middle of your bow look nicer. Double knot tightly again. Take your white felt and lay the canvas upside down on top of it. Try to find the middle of your felt the best that you can. Cut slit on all four sides close to the sides of the canvas. This will help us position our canvas and white felt later. Take your green felt and fold it in half. Cut a triangle shape going upwards to form the collar on the Sailor Scout's outfit. Take some extra white felt and cut a thin long strip to make the white stripes. There's two stripes on each side of the original Sailor Scout outfits, but I'm just going to go with the one on each side from mine. Take your white thread and fell stitch them down. If you don't know what a fell stitch is, there will be a link in the description box below. Before we fell stitch our green collar to the white felt, take your felt pieces and lay them on top of the canvas. Remember that the star of this piece of wall decor is the bow, so figure out where you want the bow to lay on the canvas. I wanted it closer to the middle, so I ended up cutting some of the green felt off the top of the collar. Before sewing the collar down, I took my accent gem and put some craft glue on it. I put it on some extra green felt and cut around the gem. I allow the glue to dry and then hot glue it onto the middle of your bow. You need to do this step or your gem will keep falling off. The top coat or Mod Podge will be too slippery for the glue so the glue won't adhere to the bow or gem properly. Trust me, you don't want to deal with this gem a thousand times like I did. I fell stitched the smaller V part of my collar so it would stay in place while I cut slits into the green felt. Just turn your felt piece backwards and use the white felt as your guide on how far to cut down. You'll have to felt stitch around the slits. Once everything is sewn down, it should look like this. Match your slits and canvas the best that you can. Put hot glue on the sides of the canvas and attach your felt to all four sides. Go back and put more hot glue where you need it. 
With the extra felt that is sticking out from the back, I will usually just cut them off with a pair of scissors, but all our hard work for stitching the felt into place would get messed up and ruin our wall decor. Add hot glue to one side of the corner, fold that side down, and then glue the other corner along with the sides down. Repeat on the sides. You should have a nice finished bag that shouldn't mess up your stitching, canvas, or felt. The last thing we need to do is add our pretty bow. Add hot glue to the bottom point of the collar and press your bow down. Make sure that your bow's tails don't get caught in the hot glue. I wanted my bow to look fuller so I stretched it out a bit and added a dot of glue at each corner of my bow. Try to put your hot glue where there's more tool so it'll cover it up nicely. Hold the bow down until it stays in place. Don't use your finger to press down on the tool while the hot glue is still drying up or you'll get an ugly dried up hot glue on your bow like I did. If you do happen to do this, thankfully there's an easy way to get the hot glue off. Take a cotton pad and put some body spray on it and then wipe the area back and forth where the glue is and it will start to peel off very easily. Once we do that, a beautiful piece of wall decor is done. All you need is one push pin to hold the canvas up. You just have to balance it so it will be straight. You can leave your bow tails hanging or do something fancy pants with them. I just ended up twirling them around each other and then using push pins to hold them into place. I think it would be really cute to have a few of these in different parts of your home and even more awesome to wrap some fairy lights around it. You can also just make the bow for a no sew piece of wall decor or make a super cute hair bow using the same method. You could even use a smaller sized accent gem and put it in the middle to make a mini Sailor Scout bow. If you make this project, leave me on my social media so I can see your awesome creations. Also, let me know in the comments below who your favorite Sailor Scout or Sailor Moon character is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.